Hey guys, it's Anne. Welcome to the channel. Uh, if you're new here, I do uh, worm composting called vermiculture. Um, and what my goal here is on my channel and pretty much for my life is to prevent things from going to the landfill. So I do a lot of experiments on how to keep things out of the landfill. I keep upping the game as to what I will feed my worms. Now, anytime I do something new, I do it slowly and I don't do very much of it. But as I start to get a handle on what my worms will eat, then I do tend to increase the amount of forbidden foods that I will give them. So for as an example, this here has been our excellent bin, but in reality, it is a protein bin to see, can you feed eggs and other protein sources and will the worms handle them and how long does it take for them to do that. So in the past, we've done some boiled eggs, we've done fried eggs, and most recently we've done raw eggs. Now it's been about a month since we looked in here because of my uh, vacation problem, where I was gone for much longer than I wanted to. So I don't really expect to find any egg in here. Um, but you know, we'll see. Actually what I am finding that I was not wanting to find is a black widow spider. So. <laughs> Yikes. Okay, let me, I don't know if it's alive or not, but we are going to uh, manage that. Um, I think I got it. Okay, yeah, that's, uh, that's Illinois for you. You do, uh, we do have black widow spiders, we do have wolf spiders, uh, brown, brown recluse, and uh, you just have to be careful and uh, pay attention. So yeah, sorry for the little bit of a scare there. I am allergic to most spiders, let alone something like a black widow. So back to the plan. What we're gonna do here is we are going to um, pull everything back here and see what the worms are doing. What I'm seeing right now is I'm seeing some worms, but I'm also seeing that it is kind of uh, dry in here, which, you know, after having not been in here for about a month is to be expected. So let me upturn things here. Oh, look, well, we got underneath, it seems to be a good moisture. So that's good. I'm glad that the worms have not uh, gone without or been, you know, so there you go. That's pretty, pretty moist down there. But we are going to increase the moisture here, and we are also going to give them a new kind of a feeding. So per my, you know, method, my scientific method for worm farming here, I do like to give the worms someplace normal, which we're going to call the place where, um, you know, they were right now. There's nothing weird going on in here. The food is already gone. And then you have this bedding that is dry that I'm going to have to add some water to and then I am going to give them their protein feeding. But it's gonna be new today. So what I have here are some, per the poll of what people said they were most frightened about was take, take out. So here are some uh, rib tips that um, are past their due date. I don't plan on eating them. And then we have some boiled eggs here. And that does seem like a lot for just uh, about a pound of worms in here. So we're going to bring in some recruits and get them some more worms to deal with this food so that there's a larger population so that it goes faster. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to get some water to get this bedding moist again, which is probably why the spider felt like it wanted to live in the bin is because it's way too dry. Most of the time, they live above and they catch the gnats that fly off the top. It's pretty rare for me to find one living in a bin. So let's get some water and then we will make the bedding palatable for them. And then we're going to give some food. Okay, we've got about a quarter water here. And we're kind of gonna remake this bedding since that it is so, so dry. And then I'm gonna add a little bit more um, bedding to it to give this bin a little bit more volume and then hopefully that will solve my problem of having um, rowdy spiders in here and it'll also give the worms 
a little bit more room to run amok, especially since they're getting some new neighbors. All right, there's some regular prepared bedding. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make a bit of a ditch here and I am going to put the forbidden food right here and uh, I'll break maybe I'll break the egg so they can get into it so you can see that they are hard-boiled there and then we've got this meat and kind of break that up into littler portions and then I am going to give them some grit so this is a lot of grit. One of the things that I'm thinking might help to mitigate any sort of weird chemical reaction of rotting meat in the bin. I know the eggs behave decently well. I didn't have any problems running those. But this is my first time doing um, having meat in a bin. So I thought maybe let's make sure that there's uh, enough. So I'm gonna give them a lot of grit so that basically if they need it for their gizzard to eat a weird food, then it will be available. And if they don't need it, then that's fine too. But since they have not been fed in a month, I am gonna give them some worm chow to work in with the bedding because I don't anticipate that the meat or the eggs will be fast food. And I don't want these little wormies to go without. All right, now let's get the, re the reinforcement. All right, we've got a good couple of handfuls from Blue over there. And I'm gonna pour them on top. And then that extra quarter pound of worms can help the uh, current population of worms over here uh, get into that new food and hopefully then we won't have to worry about it stinking or anything like that. But it's well covered up with all the bedding, so hopefully this will work. All right, well today we're gonna do two experiments in one video, so hang on and let me go get the next one. If you're liking this video, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you wanna know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. Okay, here we are at the Ah Naturel bin, which has just been getting uh, food that you would find outside on the ground. And now that I've found one uh, spider, I'm, I'm gonna kind of look a little more carefully and uh, make sure that I don't have any other visitors that could cause me problems. Uh, I don't see anything. This bin looks like it's a really good moisture here, so I think we will be okay. This is the Ah Naturel bin, which I have been using the European Nightcrawlers with. And they have been eating things like maple keys and leaves and things like that. And look how happy and fat they are. Looks like their uh, maple keys are sprouting. The moisture is not great, but uh, the underneath side does seem to be doing pretty well. It looks like they're reproducing. I see some smaller worms. So it looks like they've eaten pretty much everything I gave them previously, which was, was maple keys. So they almost must have sprouted, died, and been eaten since the last time that we have looked in there. So I'm gonna give them a tiny bit of water and mix that in because there was some leaves on top so these worms appear to be doing just fine in um, just basically outdoors kinds of material and that's one of the you know if you don't have scraps in your house if you run out of food what can you substitute from just out in your yard um, that the worms will eat and that you you know you don't have to pay for so that, that's kind of one of the things is, you know, will they be healthy if you just give them scraps that you find out in your yard? And so, so far, these worms look like they're doing really well. But the, the goal is to not give them anything that would not be found in my yard. So sometimes I do, I have fruit trees, stuff like that. So when it gets to be apple season, they will get some apples. But right now, they're just getting 
whatever's in my yard. And I don't know if you can see, but that is a cocoon. It looks like it might've already even hatched, this dark cocoon right next to my finger. So they are breeding in here, so that is good. All right, let's find some food. So today I have uh, pruned back my grapes a little bit. So what they're gonna get is, I'm gonna bury some grape leaves underneath here. And I think one of the things that people are worried about by feeding them things that are in your yard is you might introduce bugs into your wormery or your worm bin that wouldn't normally be there. And that is a risk for real. But in my basement, this is just a dirt floor basement that is not actually even connected to my house. So, or it doesn't transfer, you know, I don't have stairs up into my house. I have to go outside to go to the basement. That's what I'm trying to say. And uh, so, you know, whatever's in the basement here is not likely to end up in my house. So I am just gonna give them a little more sprinkle of water. And then I think this bin is doing very well. I see reproduction or evidence of reproduction. I see the adults, I see cocoons. So right now, uh, I'll put how long this bin has been going, but this has been going since the beginning of the year, I think. And these worms are just fine with things I find in my yard. If you like these experiments, I have a playlist right over here with other kinds of experiments with worm bins and different kinds of worms that you can watch right now. Or alternately, there's a video right over here that YouTube thinks that you are going to love. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody, have a good day.